Hi. Tuko hapa katika Cheza Gospel Awards, Cheza Gospel Festival. Yes, if I'm not wrong, na tuko hapa na Gigi, one of the gurus when it comes to gospel industry. So labda Gigi, salimia watu kwanza. Ah, uh, acha nigotee maze kila mtu mwanzee ana watch. A big shout out to everyone. Uh, tuko excited kwa hapa hivi Cheza Gospel. Na maze Deliverance Church uh, Kangundo Road maze tuko hapa na tunafurahia in general. Oh, iko poa iko poa. So uh, Gigi maze kumekuwa na issue tumekuwa tukiona ma gospel artist wengi wanaruka kwa secular. Mm. Kwanza before to say anything. Una dhani nini nafanya wanaruka? Um I think maybe challenges in salvation. Uh, challenges as kosangi mm. in general uh, kwa salvation work. So I wouldn't judge them but naweza sema the only thing that I do I'll pray for them. But I know challenges is a very big thing uh, for us ambao probably waliko kwa gospel maybe kuna challenges ado kuna challenges maybe za ku keep pure <laughs> kuna challenges maybe just generally maybe una feel uko bored na gospel ama una feel maybe gospel doesn't have a market and especially for the past two years watu wengi wame believe the lie let me call it a lie that gospel is dead gospel is easy isha gospel in the word of god hakuna time isha isha fashion so i think maybe that lie also in the propagate you so that people can make that switch yeah but today chesa gospel itself uh, is a presentation of what is going to happen in 2023 and i think now and hopefully uh, most of those gospel um, gospel artists are probably switch we are hoping that they can switch back yes una una back 2010 12 13 14 gospel ndio ilikuwa inasema kwa industry tulikuwa na big artists tulikuwa na daddy owen tulikuwa na egodida gospel ilikuwa inacheza kwa kila airplay akina nyinyi muli lead umeona umetoa wase wazito wazito unadhani nini ili change ikafanya sasa gospel ikaacha kuchezwa venye na high rotation venye ilikuwa ikakuwa tena haiko i think well personally let me say that there's nothing that really changed kwa sababu if you look at tv the shows are still there bado on tv crossover bado iko bado bambika iko bado pambio live iko una get so the airplay is still there but unapata mm. unaona gospel ilikuwa imedominate charts kama ulikuwa unapata iko mpaka kwa the beat ulikuwa unapata mambo msetu mlikuwa mnacheza gospel full time squeezy hiyo ndo nasema of course nyinyi giants yeah. mna represent okay. but nasema ilikuwa imevuka mboda nini okay. ilifanyika and, and that's why nasema it's a lie that has been propagated mm-hmm. that gospel haijakuwa pale juu that's what people are saying but you see ukiangalia bado ukikau rate the big songs that were there is ilikuwa za hiyo time God works with seasons. So sai tuko in a different season as a different dispensation. So that means obviously our different tracks are going to be at the top. We have guys like Akina Moji still doing a good job and they still have big songs. Akina Utukuke, Akina Highly Favor guys are doing challenges on TikTok. But I would say one thing that I would agree with you kiasi to is that gospel needs to get an alternative. What do I mean? Secular kulikuwa na gengeton was there an alternative for gengeton in gospel that's a question that i would ask the viewers to answer number 2 uh, secular say kuna afrobeats is there an alternative for afrobeats in gospel that's a question i would pose to our viewers also so that's my reasoning since the material and the is just just that maybe the gospel scene needs to embrace a different kind of sound so that we can stay at the top i think nimeji bio swali isn't it hapo umeijibu poa alafu pia tunaweza sema wasanii wa gospel wajitumi sana kulingana na those times ama ni aje i still wouldn't say that i would disagree with that because it, sasa tuko hapa cheza gospel juu msanii amejituma <laughs> amefungua event yake yeye mwenyewe amejituma we have the likes of akina guardian angel still uh, chucking really good songs songs nafika mita mbili akina rada zimefika 2 3 million some of his songs are at 5 million you get so what to bado anajituma i just think that probably people now need to embrace more in 2023 those gosp- those gospel artists who are working very hard to make sure that gospel ibaki mali likuwa yeah Hey, that's good maze. So nataka u advise msianda ku join gospel leo. Unajua na kutegemea sana akikuona tu hivi anajua eh ngoma yangu iko citizen. Hebu mwambie kitu. <laughs> Sasa acha niseme hivi uh, if you are a gospel artist budding uh, maybe uh, when you are prizing I'm open to quit a prize is upcoming. Um you know one thing you need to do first of all if you are in the secular scene first of all you need to receive Jesus Christ as your personal savior because that's the first decision. You are you are you are a Christian then you are an artist 
So see that you're an artist, then you're a Christian. So I would encourage someone who's in the secular scene, consider making that uh, life choice of giving your life to Jesus. If you're in gospel, na maybe ukwapo ivo una struggle na yaprile, amu na struggle for song yako kuchezwa. Let me encourage you that at the end of the day, it is God who knows the direction that you're going to go as an artist. So it's up to you. Take time to pray. Is this my time? Is this the period that I need to chipuka? Is this the time that I need to learn? Ask yourself in those seasons what you need to do so that at least you do a maliuko. Now God at endelea kuku bless. Another thing, consistency. Endelea to my songs. Endelea kutoke my events. Kutafta my events malu neza perform because that's how you grow. So make sure umekaza na consistency. But overall, overall, number one, God. God ndo atakweka mbele. Kweli kabisa, kweli kabisa. Alafu kuna msepa leo, anatamani, anasema tu mazemi ile siku DJ Gigi atacheza ngoma yangu. Ah mazemi nitasikia fiti sana. So hebu mwambie, sikia hii advice. Kwa unataka kufikishia Gigi gospel, eh ngoma yako gospel umetoa kali. Wacha aseme venye unaweza mfikishie. So two things. First thing eh, uh, lazima song yako ikuwe quality. First of all, let's make content quite poor because we are, we, are, we are singing gospel music. We are singing to God and we are singing about God. So let's make gospel number one. Number two, let's make it content fit, it can written well. Let's make it make your production fit in a good studio. Let's make mastering it quite poor. Let's make beat it quite fit. Let's make your presentation also is good. How you package it is also important. Siku zi watu digital. What are you doing about an email? Are you putting a profile? Are you putting a, a, a three piece? on that email. So make sure you package your stuff well. Make sure you network with DJs and presenters. Go out of your way. Vile tu umesema kujituma. Jituma endo utafute ma presenter maali wako. Usikai useme nime release nime ka YouTube. So presenter ta ipatakiwa hapo. Presenters have a lot of work that they are doing. So go out of your way to look for them so that you can present it to them. That's number one. Number two. Kamu ni msani maze. Email liko hapo, social media liko hapo, Facebook DJ Space GWE, Space GWE, Instagram and Twitter is at DJ GG Activist. Nirushie link, nione. That's one of the most easiest ways when you are able to sample song. Eh, so I appreciate sana because of all the artists who are making songs. Na ni meza kuzireceive. Usikufe moyo, next ni we unachezo. Swali ya kizushi lakini pole. Ah, ina nene. Izo izo ma gospel wana tumanga link mnazi ulanga kweli mnazi check <laughs> kapsa what happens is eh kama una send on, on social media high possibility that eh, most of them nitaziona but when you're sending to an email we usually have a team chini ya maji ya kuweza kuangalia hizo vitu ne, ambazo zimepangwa uh, in terms of uh, what I've listed right now that you know is it quality is it uh, content is it good and all those things there's, there's someone who's going to look at them someone um, to akona knowledge ya mziki vifiti so ataza kuyanalyze na kujua vile aneza aneza ni advice aneambia hii song ina sound hivi song ina sound hivi song ina sound hivi is it fit for airplay so the issue ina kuanga wasani wengi wasani wana kuanga wengi nani pata the workload is a lot but you see lazima to balance between kusikiza hizo na songs na also job yenye tuko nayo ambayo tumekoliwa na god kwa some of these stations and at the same time events and things like that so zuonekana ni vile maybe yako ijafiki haijafikiwa kwa hivyo mzee tukazane hata mimi nikazana on my side kufikia yako pia ukazane kutuma link yes si ndio asante mzee which is your favorite kenya film oof that's a hard question okay here's the thing uh, Nairobi Half Life. That was one one good one that I watched, yes. and uh, it's Kenyan. Uh -huh. So I think one, that's one of my most favorites. And actually, he win a lot of awards. So I'm sure it's one of the great films that we have here in Kenya. You know, rest in peace to the lead actor by Mzee Ali, Ali, Ali lose life yake. But I think Nairobi Half Half Life was a, was a good one. Yes. Mm. Uh, that's good, Mzee. Asante sala. Thanks for your time. Ah, Asante. <laughs> <laughs> I hope. Uh,